Hi, I'm Sheridan. I'm the lead designer at Euclidean 3D. This video is to explain how to connect the Niji laser to the, to the Orter laser master frame. Uh, you'll probably notice the fancy new adapter kit. I still need to do some QA before, before I publish that, but I will cover that one in a later video. This video is just about the electronics for hooking up the Niji because it's got some radically different controls here. So you'll notice the Niji comes with this little tiny board. It's a very useful board and you will need it to hook the, the laser up. I have it connected to the frame on this bracket that will be included with that kit. This dang thing won't focus. Alright, so let's get started. We'll start with our power supply. You will need some extra juice. This is an aftermarket 5 amp, 12 volt 5 amp power supply and I put two power jacks on it. You can see I just uh, spliced the wire in here, wrapped it all nice and with tape. I'd recommend heat shrink. I didn't have any. Um, the reason you will need two power jacks is because one goes into the Orter brains and the other one goes into the power adapter board. That's a lot more blinky flashy than it is uh, with the uh, bare eyeballs. <laughs> Let me unplug that for the wall. Okay. Next thing you will need to do is you will need to put a connector into this TTL input. Uh, TTL stands for something to do with a transmission line, and that. But basically, what that means is your Arter is running the the uh, pulse width modulation for the laser. So it it can take the laser output and use it to signal the pulse width modulation in this board. So the laser output on the Orter brains is this third wire down from the top on the very top connector. So you can just take that out of the connector using a needle from the connection that it plugs into over there. You can see over here that the look at the back of the plug that the laser plugs into you see 12 volt ground and PWM that uh, PWM you'll notice this connector is actually empty because we don't use it anymore because of the Niji and the PWM is what signals the laser to turn on and off so we will need to put that signal into our Niji adapter board and so I've put that wire into a, an XH 2.54 female pin header connector and it just plugs in like so you don't have to connect the ground you can if you want to but you don't have to connect the ground because ground is already connected through the power cable make it a little less blurry okay uh, last thing is connecting the actual laser itself I've used some standard cat6 ethernet cable to splice in some extra length on the wire that the Niji came with and it just plugs into this connector right here like that and the Niji is ready to go